Hello again, Craig Harrison from the Business Depot real estate team, joined today by Al Dawson from our Rent Roll Broking team. Great to be here. Thanks for being <laughs> here, Al. Really appreciate it. Um, look, Al, had a client come to me. Yep. They've got to the end of the road in business, or sure. they can see the end of the road. They yep. want to get out, yep. got a rent roll involved in their business. Um, we've done all the tax work. We have an idea what they're going to get. We're figuring out the best way for them to get out cash-wise. Yep. On the market, what should a potential vendor be thinking about when they're going to list their rent roll? Yeah, I'll clean this up a little bit, but it's the old prior preparation prevents poor performance, and I did clean that up. But really what's got to happen here, it's not a it's not a sit up in bed one night and make a decision situation. So the energy might have gone out of it a little bit, and you, and you know that the time is right to actually put that business and or rent roll on the market. Do your homework, prior preparation, get everything set before you actually go to the market. Now, if that means delaying that decision by a month or two and bringing in some expertise, please, please do that. This is not a decision. It, it could be, you know, a million, a couple of million dollars transaction for you. This is possibly for a lot of people there, you know, their retirement fund um, and, and getting expertise to come in and, and look at your portfolio for you, do the appropriate numbers, know what that looks like and through Craig, you know, how that looks financially for you is absolutely imperative. And what I mean by that as well is, don't necessarily, and I mean this respectfully, don't necessarily rely on all the information that you think as an owner, that your portfolio, your rental portfolio might look like, because it may not, okay? Uh, best intent of staff over a period of time as they come and go, yeah, their intent's there to make sure the documentation's right, everything's right, but sometimes it's not. Going to the market and then having that portfolio exposed with flaws in relation to um, you know, management agreements, entry and exit reports, and so it goes on. It's not the time to be there. You need to know that information up front before it goes to the market. And the reason for that is, that as a broker, we can quite often have a harder discussion with a buyer to get you a bit more if we know that that portfolio is squeaky clean. So, you know, look at all your form sixes, look at all your entries, um, entry and, and, and uh, exit reports. Make sure your tenancy agreements are up to date. Arrears and vacancies, get all that stuff in order. And that's not something that you would rely on, it's just that you were told that's what it is. Be analytical here and get the right information. Now, whether you do that yourself or bring in some level of expertise around that, there are people that can come in and do like an internal audit on your portfolio, identify any issues, get them sorted, then when you go to the market, it optimizes your price. No different than getting a house styled correct before you take it to market. Same sort of situation. So my biggest recommendation is prior preparation, be analytical around it. It really gets to a higher number in the end, bring in some expertise. So they're my quick tips. Great tips, Al. Thanks very much. And if you're after some expertise, details will follow. Cheers. Thank you.